Well, a group of citizens tasked with reviewing and recommending the salaries of Erie County's elected officials is calling for raises for some, but not all, of the county's elected officials. Now, the last time the salaries of Erie County's elected officials was were raised was in 1996, which means that they've remained flat for 22 years. Channel 2's Dave McKinley looks at the reasons behind these recommendations. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Okay, that's it. The Salary Review Commission is recommending raises of roughly 15% for the county executive, county comptroller, and county sheriff. This chart shows what those positions currently pay and what the salary would be if the panel's recommendations are adopted. One panel member noted the county budget is currently close to $1.5 billion, and these raises collectively would add only 38000 to that total. Which amounts to 0 .00 two percent of the county budget, which is indeed minuscule with a capital M. The commission arrived at its findings by comparing, among other things, what others in similar positions in other counties across the state make, the cost of living here, and inflation over the 22 years since salaries were last raised. The public should take away that we did a thorough job on their behalf. Also weighing heavily was the fact that the pay of county employees has risen, while those under whose direction they work has stayed flat since 1996. It's just gotten to a a point where it's it's just so out of whack. The county executive notes there are now 85 county employees whose salary exceeds his. The deputy county executive makes substantially more than the county executive. The deputy comptroller makes a lot more than the comptroller. The deputy under sheriff makes a lot more than the sheriff. Our system is is wrong. But it's the county legislature which has say on whether to adopt the proposal or not. I think it at least warrants a strong, open-minded review uh, to determine if we are competitive uh, with other municipalities and, and counties around New York State and throughout the country. The panel also recommends keeping the salaries of the county clerk and the county legislators right where they are. The legislature now has up to a year to decide whether to act on these recommendations. Besides voting yes or no, lawmakers could also set that report aside and do nothing with it, in which case the salaries will remain as they have for a generation. In the Information Center, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.